Welcome back to The Road Less Traveled. We are here today at Voice Motors in Kalkaska, Michigan, and we just had the General Motors performance parts installed for the front and rear jounce shock system. As you can see, we have the rear jounce shocks, and then the cross car beam attaches here, and that helps support the forces on the chassis from the jounce shocks. And then we also have the striker plate there so i can also put on the long travel leaf springs in the eventuality once i do we have the upper control arms that are high angle and the level and we also have the front jounce shocks there we go right there are the front jounce shocks so we're going to take this off-road on the way home and try these out see how it goes but those are the shocks and it's the same on the other side but just in case they have a specific mount it does not look like this is going to be compatible though with the outboard shock relocation from 589 I was hoping it would be but I guess it's not I'd rather have the jount shocks and the shock relocation but I guess that won't work there's that We'll go to the passenger front. There's that beautiful jump shock, high angle control arms, and the leveling kit. So as you see, that GM leveling kit's pretty big. I'll have to see how that goes. But there's the, the view from the side. It's almost a, a little higher in the front, it looks like, but We'll have to check. Eventually we'll have the AEV flares for the 35s and all that, but this is the truck as it sits today. Also having a warranty issue with this. A little bit of rust there on the AEV, but they've been great with that. They're sending me another one. And I'm ready to test out these fancy suspension parts. It is about 20 degrees Fahrenheit out. We're supposed to get a foot of snow tonight, so I don't know. Maybe we'll have some snow shenanigans tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell as I don't upload that often. I know this is sort of a short one this week, but just picked up the truck from the dealer and we're gonna head to Drummond Island on Thursday. So I'll update you as the little mods go on between now and Drummond this Thursday and we'll see you in the woods. Welcome back to the road less traveled. Here's my first experience with jump shocks off road. I'll try and tell you if I feel anything different. So far I'm not really noticing as much bottoming out. I mean, the DSSVs are amazing in general. Oh, wow. So, yeah, when there's a big, big divot to fill and the wheels got to go down into it, it's so much better with the jounce. So, here's a pretty big one. The weird part is you do hear when the jounce shocks hit the new upper control arms. So, you hear this metal in the front end that thankfully. One of my friends on the ZR2 Facebook group let me know to expect that. So I'm going to go up the hill here. I'm in two-wheel drive right now, just having fun in the woods. Oh, here's some bumps. Oh, there's some more bumps. Oh, my gosh. It is night and day. Night and day with these jounce shocks. Whereas before, you'd be like, oh, oh, oh. Now it's just... Uh, it's like, oh, that was a big bump. Nothing too bad though. I have no idea where I'm going right now, but it doesn't really matter. And you can hear them hit the end of their travel. That was a log there. <laughs> Two wheel drive, I'm getting up the hill. Up the hill. So the verdict, the jount shocks are amazing. I notice a huge difference already. And let's climb this hill. I'm gonna put this in four though. You see the hill there? You see if we can climb this hill. Climb this hill. I wonder how tall that tree is. I guess we'll see how tall this tree is and if we can get under it. I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah. This is pretty dangerous. This is a steep hill and it's icy. But we got a ZR2. It's going. We're at 16 degrees. 
So it's 16. There's 16. And it's just going up no problem. I'm not even losing wheel spin. These dirt tracks are stock, but they're, they're good tires, especially in the snow like this. Yeah, see, it just went up like nothing. Just like nothing. So thanks for coming along, looking at the jounce shocks with me, going on my first ride along. I've never even been in a vehicle with jounce shocks before, but now I'll recommend them to everybody. It's a, uh, it's quite an investment, but it makes a big difference. Wow, just, oh, there's some deer. Do you see them? Let's see if we can get the deer. Hey, deer. What's up, deer? I only went that way. Welcome back. I wanted to update you on my opinion of the jounce shocks. So I really didn't know what to expect. I've never been in a vehicle that had jounce shocks, but I did notice a huge difference immediately. It is amazing how much dampening there is. It feels like I just went from the standard DSSVs to like King 3.0 double bypasses. You know, I'm fairly ignorant. I really don't even know what that would feel like. But you're, when you're going through like ruts like this, whereas I typically used to s slow down and stuff, now it's like, oh, how much can the suspension take? It's up the capability of the truck so much. I'm very happy with it.